fantastic. Welcome to Sunday. Thank you, Mrs. H. How are you doing? In yourselves? Okay, ready for shaving, are we? Well, I am. Hang on, it's the wrong way. Got my little poppy there, it's the wrong way around then. <laughs> yeah, so hope you're okay. Good health and all that type of stuff. Um, right, bit of a sh new razor for me. Never had one of these before. Um, so that's going to be on here now. This And it's the Merc. Yeah, the Merca. 1904 um, lovely razor three piece uh, it says it's based on the 1904 Gillette but uh, what I can see it looks nothing like it <laughs> but anyways a nice razor they're all based on old Gillettes or something these modern razors um, if it reminds you of something uh, the humor and if you look at this is exactly the same except this is a higher quality that's uh, aluminium or aluminium um, I think it's like an alloy alloy something like that it shows it's it's old now and it's showing its age it changes color goes dark it looks like you've left it outside for months <laughs> but um, that's what we're using today blade is going to be a brand new persona red and a few days ago I've been busy with my soap grater this is an old kitchen a uh, great I used to use for cheese and nutmeg and stuff like that. So I've retired it from the kitchen. I've said it before. And I use this now to grate soaps, hard soaps. Um, what soap is it? Well, what I've done is, don't tell Mrs. H, I've pinched this little bowl. I think it's meant as some um, bowl for, what, for the cat or something from one of these home bargains or one of these shops, pound shops. Stainless steel, only small. And in there I've grated a whole stick of palm olive soap and then pressed it in. So it's it's like a, a puck, it's like a normal soap puck of palm olive, which they don't sell, they only sell the sticks and the cream. Um, but that's that's that. They don't sell the, the sticks here now in the supermarkets, but we can still get them online. And you'll see some of the prices some people are charging. Ridiculous. We, 49 to 50p we paid and I got a good stock of them Luckily right, so that's what we're going to use But first as a pre-shave, I'm going to don't do this often And that is hot hot water <laughs> flannel so I've had that soak in there And I'm just gonna Nicely you can put stuff in it Oh, that's lovely. Wow. Just to soften the old bristles, warm the face up. Very simple. Not as good as a barber. Some of them put like a nice cream or a sort of a, I think like a lemony scent, isn't it? Menthol. But uh, that'll do as a nice pre shave. And it's clean, <laughs> no mess of you. Finish that. Brush, Simpson, and this is the Chubby Two. Uh, synthetic badger, false badger. Um, nice little brush, use that today. So that doesn't need um, soaking. <laughs> what's the reason for this you may ask well the reason I've done it is so I've got a puck if I want to lather from the bowl a nice this will stay in there and live in this now a nice um, puck of palm olive you can do with any shave stick especially like this if they don't sell it as a soap no like a round puck of soap um, but if I want to use a shave stick, I've got one there open and I can still lather off the face or whatever. So I've got choices, just gives me choices. And I love messing about. Look at that. Gorgeous scent, Pam Olive. That'll do, that'll do, doesn't take long. Right, here we go. It's 
how has the old uh, week gone so far? Good, I hope. I hope you've had a good one and having a good weekend. Indeed. Look at that. A couple of minutes, if that. And a gorgeous scent. So, good idea that. So, we'll now put the blade in. I'm kind of ahead of myself here. <laughs> Don't get excited, Paul. Alright, it's only a shave. And what I did with this is I stripped it down and I've disinfected it. I know it's new, but I do it with all razors. Um, but the new ones I disinfect with an antibacterial hand soap with a toothbrush and just go over it quickly. Hot water, rinse, dry it. And then put mineral oil on that thread and just a bit on the thread in there and then it all helps. Um, and if any mineral oil gets inside the handle that's even better because it'll give it a coating of oil which will prevent in future months and years hopefully of any corrosion. I've never had a razor corrode on me. Uh, I am quite careful when I've used them in cleaning them so that's that there is overhang so brand new persona red will heat that up in the Merca 1904 nice razor good way to it look at the mess here come on a bit late wow forget how slick this soap is just tidy up come on no need to get on with it there you go, first pass. And so far so good, nice standard as you'd imagine. Standard aggression. Slightly under the 34C, I'd say. Very slight though. And in this shave, it may be different. In another shave, with another soap and another blade. As you know yourselves, use a razor one day and think, wow, that's okay. And then use it another time and think, wow, that's aggressive. And <laughs> little things make a difference. Excellent. I'm forgetful how good this soap is. Very slick. Well, as you can see, look at that. I want to relather on it? Oh. Yeah. So that was a. Uh, that was just an impulse buy. That I seen it. I thought, I've always wanted one of them, because um, I've had the humour, but the humour is far more aggressive than this. Right. This synthetic has more backbone than most of my synthetics, and um, it is meant to be a a false badger and a false badger it feels like very good 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 mimic especially with the backbone behind it if you're growing a Movember um, I hope it's going well for you again no issue so far I'm not climbing the walls um, and what does it for me is because I'm able to shave like if I couldn't shave like oh and thank you to whoever it was pointed out in the comments that uh, the official rules of Movember is you should have I think it's just this tash 
otherwise it doesn't count. Well, I don't agree with that. It's, I either do this or I don't do it at all. <laughs> That's my motto. So it does count. I think if any awareness really, isn't it, for what it's caused. But I know the rules are there, but rules are meant to be broken, baby. In certain instances, of course. Across the growth. Merca, 1904. Feeling very good so far. Uh, Sunday dinner. Well, I went to the butchers. With the intention of buying some belly pork, a piece of belly pork. But when I walked in, I could see a nice loin of pork, just ideal size, ready rolled and uh, scored, you know, sliced the skin. And I said, uh, is that piece available? He said, it certainly is. I said, well, put my name on it, will you? <laughs> so that went in the bag. And some pork sausages they make themselves and uh, pork pie cooked you know the one they make and um, smoky bacon and their bacon's nice just right not too thick not too thin and not that you want to know all this <laughs> i'll tell you what we'll just pick up what's in the bottom of this there's no wasted then that's a good idea, that. And what gave me the idea, seeing that little dish, as I said, I thought, I know just the little thing to go in that. As I say, not a word, please, thank you. To she who must be obeyed. Well, there's two of them in this house. She who must be obeyed is Alice and Mrs. H. Two against one. You need to get another bloke and you even things out a bit. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. A loin of pork roasted, obviously, and crispy crackling or pork rind uh, skin and against the growth now. I'm going to do roast potatoes, Maris Pipers. And what I will do then is I'll steam them for about 10 minutes, keeping an eye, bring them out. In the meantime, I will be heating some goose fat in a tray, baking tray, in the oven. When that's hot, out of the uh, steamer pan, I put just a bit of salt on them and then tss, sizzle and leave them in straight away in the oven. About 20 odd minutes, keeping an eye on them until they turn golden brown. And then they're nice and crispy and fluffy inside. I've got some green beans, French beans I think they are, green sl slim beans. Um, carrots and lashentos of gravy. And I'll make my own gravy with some of the fat of the pork. Um, some beef stock, have I got some pork stock? Anyhow, one or the other. And add that and some flour and mix it up nice and thick. Salt and pepper. You coming round? <laughs> wow, it's lovely soap, very slick. Sure, this is a 
that's good enough. Make sure. There we go. What time is it? Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Absolutely lovely. Gorgeous scent. Do you know they used to sell an aftershave palm olive? I wish they did it now. I think you'll only buy the vintage if you can find it. Lovely razor. If you like a short razor, good grip. There's the um, it's like a 50 pence, 20 pence piece, you know, all the, all the, like a hexagon design. Uh, good grip, no, no issues at all. Excellent. Cold water rinse. I'm going to stay wet. I'm going to use alum today. Oh, that is cold. Right. Well, rinse properly then. Come on, Paul. Good grief. Too excited to do this dinner. <laughs> That's nice. No issues. Rinse that. I tell you, what, get this hot towel. Hot towel. Very nice. That's that. And then we're going to go with some Williams Ice Blue, Ice Blue Aqua Velva. I'll use that for a while. Oh yeah, the original's nice. Look at this. <laughs> Love that. And then uh, I'm gonna go with some Arco sensitive. Bam! Don't need a lot. Because I've had no issues, we're going to go with this beard lotion again. Just in the old uh, goatee, shall we say. And that is it, I'll leave you to it, enjoy your Sunday.
and your shave if you have one. So a quick recap, Merca 1904, three piece non-adjustable, very nice little razor, short handle, good weight to it. Standard aggression, very nice, very comfortable, nicely to grip. I can handle short or long, I don't mind, I haven't got a preference. Um, I just enjoy them for what they are. Um, so really nice. Persona Red Blade, brand new, worked perfectly. Palm Olive Shave Stick, which I grated and pressed into the bowl. And I'll show you now. Because a lot of people ask about this. That looks like a puck now, doesn't it? Puck of palm olive. So what I'll do is leave this upside down on the sink here till tomorrow. And that'll be nice and dry and ready for next use. You know, just clean the bottom and it'll be nicely done. That'll be rinsed and dried and polished and put back in. Um, we use the Simpson Chubby 2 synthetic, the uh, synthetic badger. Really nice. One of the hardest backbones for me, you can really, because if you didn't know, you'd think it was a badger. Um, because it feels, you know, so very good on that score. If that was their intention to make it feel like a badger, it certainly has done. So that was that brush, good. That's why you pay so much for them, I suppose. <laughs> um, we used Welsh water to rinse, alum, Williams uh, Aqua Blue, the uh, Ice Blue Aqua Velvet, sorry. And then we've used Arco Sensitive and some of this beard lotion, EAD beard lotion. Under the home bargains jobby thank you again for your company thanks for the chat and joining me have a great rest of the day and uh, start to next week stay safe enjoy your shaves and enjoy each other all the best and i'll see you in the next one take care